Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, over the years, uh, some of the most frequent questions uh, that people ask me are about walks. Uh, I have done a lot of videos uh, on walks, uh, all different types. It was not until recently uh, somebody asked me that uh, a walk comes in the many different sizes in terms of the bottom surface. Uh, what would be the best surface type of walk that uh, uh, we should be getting? And now, of course, walks come primarily in two types, whether they are round bottom or they are flat bottoms. And even among the flat bottom walks, uh, they come in different sizes. Some of the flat bottoms are larger, where some are smaller. Uh, the general assumption is that uh, round bottom walk probably use the least amount of oil, and then walks with smaller bottom surface also use less oil. Uh, however, I was not sure that actually is the case, although I have the same assumption. So I decided in this video, I'm going to give this a test. Uh, so I got the walks off the wall from my uh, kitchen. Uh, I starting out with a round bottom walk, and then I go all the way to what is known as a walk pan, uh, which is a Cousinat 14 inch stainless steel walk uh, with the largest cook surface area. So okay, uh, let's go into the kitchen and get started. The first walk I'm going to look at is the large 14 inch uh, cast iron walk. Uh, this walk actually is a round bottom walk. Uh, it has a, a pedestal like structure at the bottom, so actually I can use it right on top of my glass top electric range. Uh, this walk truly is a round bottom walk because it has a curvature across the entire surface. Uh, this is a Ken Hong 14 inch carbon steel walk. Uh, it has the smallest uh, bottom surface compared to other flat bottom surface walk. And because of this, the side of the walk has a steeper curvature than almost any other walks. And this walk is the Joyce Chan carbon steel walk. Uh, it has a slightly larger flat bottom area. It is bottom surface area is larger than the Ken Hong 14 inch carbon steel walk, but not by a whole lot more. The next walk is the Emusa light cast iron walk. Uh, the bottom surface of this walk is definitely larger than the Joyce Chan carbon steel walk. Uh, you measure a little bit under 7 inches across the bottom surface. Uh, the next walk up in this scale is the Cusina 14 inch stainless steel walk. It has the large cooking surface for 14 inch walk. It actually measures almost 8 inches across. It is walk frequently known as a walk pan uh, because its cooking surface is almost the size of a small frying pan. Uh, so as you can see, a walk comes uh, cooking surfaces of different sizes, some smaller and some larger. It seems to make sense that walk with a smaller cooking surfaces might use less cooking oil. Uh, so for the remaining of this video, I'm going to test these ideas. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, half tablespoon of oil to fry an egg. So my hypothesis is that to walk with a large cooking surface area, there might not be enough oil to cover the surface, so the egg will not fry properly. Uh, the first walk I'm going to test this is uh, the large 14-inch cast iron wok, which has a round bottom. Uh, the oil pool right in the middle of the wok, as it is suggested, and then I put an egg into the wok. Uh, the curvature of the wok keeps the egg very nice in the middle of the wok. Uh, this wok is well seasoned, so there should be no problem uh, for the egg to slide over the surface of the wok. And, and this is exactly what happened. So, uh, so far, so good. Our first wok performed excellently. So, okay, the next wok I'm going to try is the Ken Hong uh, 14 inch carbon steel wok. Uh, this wok probably has the smallest uh, cooking surface of all the flat bottom walks. Again, I use a half tablespoon of cooking oil and it covered that bottom of the wok quite nicely. As you can see, the bottom of the wok is quite small and the egg is very much constrained by the surrounding the curvature of the wok. Again, the wok is well seasoned. Uh, I have no problem having the egg to slide across the surface of the wok. 
So, so far so good. The amount of oil seems to be adequate in frying and egging this wok. And next wok I'm going to test is the Joyce Chain 14 inch carbon steel wok. The problem about this wok is that when you heat it up, it starts to spin. And this is a common problem with a carbon steel wok because they change shape after they being heated. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and test this wok. I'm going to add half tablespoon of canola oil as I have done to previously. Uh, right away you can tell that this wok has a much larger flat surface uh, because the oil uh, do not cover the wok readily. Uh, I have to rock the wok in order to have the oil to flow across the flat surface area. As you can see when I break the egg into the wok, the egg whites immediately spread across the surface of the wok. And since the bottom surface of this wok is much larger, there's not much constraint to, be, to prevent the egg white from uh, expanding across the surface of the wok. And because of how the egg white has spread out, you can tell the uh, outcome of this egg is slightly different uh, from the two previous examples. Again, we don't have much problem of the egg stick to the surface of the wok. Okay, so far so good. And next is the emulsor light cast iron wok. It has a much larger uh, surface area. As I mentioned earlier before, it's a me measure about 7 inch across. And you can clearly tell here that the uh, cooking oil is definitely uh, not sufficient to spread at least uh, automatically across the surface of the wok. So I have to tilt the wok to make sure uh, all areas of the bottom surface uh, is covered with cooking oil. And nevertheless, um, a half tablespoon of uh, cooking oil seems to be able to do the job. As in the previous case, when I dropped the egg into the wok, the egg yolks spread readily across the surface of the wok. Uh, in fact, this area is big enough uh, for frying two eggs at the same time. However, there seems to be enough oil uh, because the egg do not stick to the bottom of the wok and able to glide freely on its surface. So okay, last but not the least is the Kusina 14 inch stainless steel wok. Uh, this wok has the largest uh, bottom surface area. In fact, it measures about 8 inches across. Uh, it is about the size of a standard frying pan. Uh, in fact, the company advertised this wok as a wok pan. Uh, so as you can tell, a uh, half tablespoon of cooking oil definitely uh, has a hard time covering the entire surface of the wok. So uh, I have to rock the uh, wok in such a way so that the oil will flow across the entire surface of the wok. And nevertheless, it seems to be enough to cover the whole bottom surface. So when I crack the egg into the wok, uh, you can see the egg just flow all over the place. In fact, the only thing constrained from the egg from expanding is when it comes to the edge of the slope. Uh, based on how I fry the egg, uh, you can tell that this wok's bottom surface uh, is significantly larger than the first one we tested, which is the large 14-inch cast iron wok. However, so far so good because the egg do not stick to the bottom of the wok, so suggest that the uh, uh, half tablespoon of cooking oil is sufficient. Uh, the egg actually turned out as good as uh, the egg in any other previous wok that we have tested. Uh, so what is my conclusion? Uh, so based on this uh, result, that uh, for half tablespoon of cooking oil, uh, it does very well frying an egg whether it is in a round bottom wok or in a wok pan such as that in a Cusina 14 inch stainless steel wok. Uh, so if this is the case, uh, the wok pan should be a better choice because in addition to be able to stir fry with a uh, minimum amount of oil, well, if it have to, you can use it to make grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, so at least from uh, this set of tests, it looks like uh, it doesn't matter uh, the size of the bottom surface of the wok. Uh, when I use half tablespoon of uh, cooking oil, uh, the egg cook equally well in all of the woks that I have tested. Uh, even with the 14-inch Cousin stainless steel wok, the oil barely covered the surface. The egg turned out to be great. Uh, however, there's always a possibility that if you use a wok with a small cooked surface or a round bottom wok, uh, you can even use less oil. Uh, however, using half 
tablespoon of cooking oil seems to be quite acceptable to me. But maybe in a future test, I will try this with even less oil. Uh, I think everybody will agree, uh, one of the downside of stir fry is the oil that are using in cooking. Uh, there's a method that for stir fry actually use no oil at all, uh, known as water frying. Uh, I have tried that uh, recently and it seems to work very well. And I will do a future video on this water frying technique. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, uh, click like, subscribe and share. I'll see you next time.